Aladdin is a Middle Eastern folk tale. It is one of the best known tales associated with the Book of 1001 Nights, despite not being part of the original text. It was added by the Frenchman Antoine Galland, based on a folk tale that he heard from the Syrian Maronite storyteller Hannah Diab. Once upon a time in the ancient city of Agrabah, nestled amidst the dunes of a vast desert, there lived a street smart and adventurous young man named Aladdin. One day, as he roamed the bustling markets, an old and mysterious peddler caught his eye. This weathered figure hidden beneath a tattered cloak beckoned Aladdin closer. Brave soul, the old peddler whispered, I have something that will change your destiny forever, a lamp that houses a magic so powerful it could grant you anything you desire. Intrigued, Aladdin reached into his meager pockets and bartered with the mysterious peddler until the magic lamp was his. Little did Aladdin know that this lamp held not only the power to fulfill dreams, but also the seeds of peril. As the young adventurer rubbed the lamp, a swirling darkness enveloped him. From the shadows emerged not a genie, as Aladdin expected, but a malevolent and colossal dragon with scales as dark as midnight. I am the evil dragon of the lamp, the creature hissed, its eyes gleaming with a malevolent glint. You have awakened me, Aladdin, and now you shall face the consequences. The city trembled as the dragon unleashed its dark magic upon Agrabah. Buildings crumbled, and the once lively streets were cast into an eerie silence. Aladdin, realizing the gravity of his mistake, desperately sought a way to quell the wrath of the evil dragon. Legend spoke of a hidden oasis deep within the heart of the desert, where a wise sage held the knowledge to bind the dragon's dark powers. Aladdin, fueled by determination and remorse, embarked on a perilous journey across scorching sands and treacherous dunas. Guided by the shimmering light of the mystic Oasis, Aladdin finally reached the lair of the wisest sage. With ancient incantations and magical artifacts, the sage bestowed upon Aladdin the means to confront the evil dragon. Armed with newfound knowledge and enchanted relics, Aladdin returned to Agrabah to face the colossal menace. The battle that ensued between the young adventurer and the evil dragon shook the very foundations of the city. Sparks of magic clashed in a spectacular display as Aladdin, fueled by bravery and remorse, sought to imprison the malevolent force within the lamp once more. In a final act of valor, Aladdin channeled the magic bestowed upon him by the wise sage. The dragon, its dark powers waning, was drawn back into the lamp, its roars fading into echoes of the past. A grateful city looked on as Aladdin, having learned the weight of consequences, sealed the lamp and banished it to a place where its power could do no harm. Agrabah, though scarred, emerged from the shadows, and Aladdin, now a wiser hero, found redemption in the eyes of those he had once endangered. The tale of Aladdin and the evil dragon became a legend, a cautionary story of the consequences that come with the pursuit of power and the importance of choosing wisely when destiny hangs in the balance. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.